Hello and welcome back. In this video, we will look at how to use LaTeX online. So without wasting much time, let's get started. But before we look at the web application itself, we first have to answer some questions. Why use LaTeX online? The second question is, what are the advantages and disadvantages of using LaTeX online? And then, do we need to have both local and remote LaTeX installed? Or do we have to use any of them? Okay, so before we answer those questions, what do I mean by online LaTeX? So basically, online LaTeX is a web application, right? That allows us to create, update, compile, and view LaTeX documents in the web browser. So all you need is a web browser, and then with internet connection, you can create, update, and compile LaTeX right in the web browser so that's what i mean by online latex okay so the first question why use latex online so if one reason why you should use latex online is to jumpstart the use of latex if you don't want to go through the hassle of installing utilities and software the best thing you would have to do is just open your web browser and then start using latex online Okay, and then for easy access of LaTeX documents everywhere. So if you use this online LaTeX, right, you get to have access to your LaTeX documents everywhere you go. So you don't really have to carry your laptops or your desktops or your machines all around. You could access your documents on the fly. So that's one advantage or that's one of the reasons why you should use online LaTeX, right? And then for collaboration purposes so which means that if you have work you are doing uh, it could be a thesis it could be a research you are working on or an assignment a group work that you are typing right and then for some reason you are more than one right and then you would have to you all have different portions of the document that you have to type then it is advisable you use LaTeX online so you could share the parts of the work and then type it concurrently. Okay, so for collaborative purposes and then for other side benefits. So uh, these online LaTeX come with some other side benefits such as protection and huge service allocation and the multiple collaborations and they also have some integrations for some other companies and a whole lot. So yeah, that's why you should use LaTeX online. Okay, now the next question, what are the benefits or the advantages of using LaTeX online? The first one is it comes with all the packages installed out of the box, right? So you would get to realize if you continue with this video series that there are some packages, if we want to use them on the local machine, we'd have to install them, right? Okay, but then for this LaTeX online, you don't have to install any packages. All the packages are installed. So you just get to just call them in the preamble and then use them. That's one advantage aside the whys, right? So the next advantage is the protection and availability of documents. So your documents are protected in the sense that anybody with access to your machine or your laptop or your device can't have access to your documents unless of course they have access to the credentials you use for the LaTeX application online. So your documents are protected from just the normal eye and then the documents are also available anywhere you want them to be. Anytime you want to access them, you can access them, okay. And then has lots of customized themes out of the box. So themes are some basic configurations, right? That help us configure certain uh get a customized view of the documents we are trying to create so you have themes for cvs you have themes for theses and what have you there are different types of flavors of bima templates and a whole lot so you get to have access to these customized themes you don't have to create yours or a personal one yourself you can just adopt someone's own and then 
change some necessary things inside it. So that's also another advantage of using LaTeX Online. Then what then is the disadvantage? One disadvantage of using LaTeX Online is that you need internet connection, which means that without internet connection, you can't access the LaTeX Online. So that's one. And in the middle of documentation or typing your LaTeX, if you lose the connection, it means every work you type after you lost the connection gets undone. It, has, it doesn't get saved. So once you get a connection, you have to retype them again and a whole lot. So that's one disadvantage. And then another one would be a steeper learning curve for beginners. So if you're a beginner and you don't really know the LaTeX commands of head, right? Then you would find it a little bit difficult using it, which means that you would have to be doing a little bit of Googling here and there to get the desired command you want, right? You don't have any button you can just click on to get your works formatted well, okay? And then you have to pay as and you would have to make some subscriptions in order to use the full features of the online LaTeX editors. So basically that's, these are the, some of the disadvantages of using LaTeX. Okay, then the next question is, should I have both local and remote LaTeX? Remote here means online LaTeX, okay. So no, one, because of your preference. So if you would want to use the local one and you don't care about the advantages the remote one or the online one brings, then why not? You can just stick to your local one and vice versa, right? So you don't need, necessarily need to install both or have both on your machines and then depending on your constraints so uh, if you know you don't have internet connection or you have limited access to internet connectivity then you don't really need to use the remote latex you can just stick to the local one and you'll be fine and then another one is yes right so you could have both installed or you could have access to both on your machine. Why? Because of the benefits of the two. So if you really want to benefit from the both of the applications, then why not? You can have both of them installed. And then uh, if you know you have internet connectivity and then the you have good machines and you can also install all these utilities, then why not? Because of circumstances, there are some circumstances where you could be typing as we said earlier and you lose internet connection by so do you can continue your work in the local one once you regain the internet connection you copy and paste in your online one and vice versa there are times that you could be typing on your local machine and then you your battery could run out you the lights could go off you can just copy distance save a copy on your drive or something and then upload it on a different machine and continue typesetting on your online so depending on the circumstances you would like to keep both of them okay and then concurrency so concurrency here means that you could be working on multiple projects you could be collaborating with others right online whilst working on your personal stuff on the local one so basically these are the reasons why you should keep both local and remote latex and then you shouldn't keep both local and remote latex on your machines okay so now that we've answered these questions if you have any more questions you can just type them in the comment section below and we'll get back to you let's now visit overleaf.com and then look at application because we made mention that we would be using overleaf for the online latex right okay so let's visit overleaf.com overleave right dot com and make sure you check the spelling correctly okay so basically you wouldn't see this so let me just this is the let me log out of this okay <clears throat> sorry about that so once you come to overleaf.com, you should see this. 
from coming. Let me clear my cache for some reason. That's come. Okay, so this is the what you would see from the beginning, right? So if you have LaTeX installed, oh sorry, if you would come to overleaf.com, right? As a fresh user, you would see this interface. But before we can use or make use of the online LaTeX, we would first have to create an account, right? So if you have a Google account, uh, a Google mail, an email, a Google email or Gmail account, you can just register it. So before then, let's click on this register here, right? And then, so here we come to this form, right? If you have uh, an email, a Google, a Gmail account, you could just click on register using Google. And then you just have to authenticate using your uh, Google email and all those stuff. But then if you already have a Google profile, that's what I have, it will just create this for you. So you'd quickly do that. And then once you create the account, you get this page, right? Okay, so basically this is the front page of our overlay. So once you have created the account, you'll be brought here, right? Make sure you choose the free tier, right? The free one. Okay. So now that we are here, we would have to test and see whether we can do our normal hello world. I'm using LaTeX app. So to do that, you first have to create our first project. So you click on create first project. <coughs> Sorry. And then we are Ask to start from a blank project, example projects, upload projects, import from GitHub and a whole lot of things. Right now we just click on the blank projects, right? So we could choose any of them, but then we start from blank projects. Which time we would try both, we will try any of these options here. Okay, so blank projects, the project name would be hello world or hello.tech. And then creates. Okay, so depending on internet connection, this would shouldn't take a lot of time. So yes, we saw that here. Sorry, so we don't really even need the dot tech here. So you could have just typed hello. Okay, and that's the name of our project. And then, oh, let me increase this. For you to see i don't know if you can see properly but well so here okay so once we create the document you see that we already have some of the things populated for us we have the title generated from the uh comments or from the name we give the application and then the other generated and then the date okay so what we would have to do is bear in mind that we were talking about the begin document and end document so this is the begin document and this is the end document so we we'll just have to type our hello world here so as we said large and then we put our hello world there hello world I am using LaTeX, right? And we said we'll use the LaTeX command, LaTeX, okay. So you see that there's no, nothing much. We, we just start using LaTeX. To compile, you can click on recompile here or control enter to compile. So you can use either this recompile here to compile this or use control enter to do that. So yes, you can see that we have the hello world I am using later. If for any reason you want to clear all these things, you can just comment out this, right? And then once you do control enter, you see our hello world. I am using LaTeX. So basically that's 
that for this particular video so that's how we use online latex or latex online is that it's quite easy to do that we do have to install our text distribution and then install the text editor we were just all we needed was just to create an account and then make use of the latex online so that will bring us to the end of this video if you enjoy this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video thank you